Good morning, good day. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope you're doing really well. I don't know if you are experiencing this, but it's almost the turn of the year. It's almost um, January 2020 watching this video live. But I think this could apply to any time of the year. So if you are struggling with, oh, it's summer and I should go um, get beach ready or, oh, I, it's class reunion time. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad to be live this morning. Um, and I'm glad that you all are here live with me. So thank you so much as always. So I'm making this video because it's diet season and it's going to be loud and it's going to be out there. And a lot of you watching this, um, you know, may be new to non-diet living and it's going to be, you know, even if you're very, so if you're really experienced and you're watching this, you probably are all thinking, yeah, there's no way I'm going back on a diet. I, that ship has sailed. I might not love my body yet, but that ship has sailed. I'm never going back. So your experience is very, very powerful and potent and important to those of, who are watching who are new. And I highly encourage you to um, comment below about what has helped you stay grounded for the oncoming onslaught. That's how it's going to be. But today I want to talk about, you know, we're going to feel tempted. We're going to be like, well, maybe this year will be different. Maybe I can do it whatever. And so I want to talk about what can we do? You know, even someone like me, I've been at this for 20 something years. And, um, you know, what do I do, you know, to not be overly annoyed, essentially, because um, it doesn't, the things I see out there don't make me at all, any way, shape or form want to change listening to my body at all. But you know, I do know that I feel the emotion I typically feel is one of like, you know, knowing that a tuned eating is one really potent and powerful way to live in this world really sanely with your food. But I do know that that's not going to feel like the way for everybody. And, um, it's important for me to, um, you know, always be humble about that. And so that's always, that's usually my, um, goal is to, is to work through this time of the year with just a lot of humility, because I know that, um, not everybody's going to be ready for this, going to want that. And those of you say, well, I would love that, but what about my health condition X, Y, Z? And it's like pretty much all health conditions can be managed from an attuned eating approach. We don't have to be overly fearful. It's just a matter of really listening to the body and what it can manage and what it can't. So that withstanding, let's talk about some of the major ground, grounding posts that I find that are helpful for people that I've worked with in the past and, and currently that I helped them this time of year. So number one is to probably stay off social a little bit, like really pick your, your sources and resources of support, of information, of education, and just stick with those. Just stick with those. And, you know, so that may be that all you do is like, I don't even get on Facebook to watch me. Maybe you're watching this maybe from Facebook and it's like, well, I'm not going to be on Facebook for the next month. There are these, uh, of course, these videos are always on YouTube. And so you just go there and visit, um, or it could be vice versa, but, um, you know, pick the place that you feel is most, um, comfortable to you and least, um, overwhelming basically. Same thing with TV. It may be that you stay off TV, like regular TV for a while and just do movies, um, Netflix, whatever. Any kind of media sources that you know are going to be extra inundated. So I would never watch like regular TV this time of year because, you know, even the news people can't help themselves with all the new food and nutrition and weight loss things out there. You know, it's sensational and they make it that way for a good reason. So there's that. Um, and you might stick with keeping yourself just with you know, podcasts and blog posts that you, you know, and that are fully, you know, health at every size and intuitive eating aligned. So number two is have more support, not less. If you know, this is a hard time of year for you, whether it's because of the holiday season, if it's just because of transition and new, to the new year for you, whatever it is, um, you know, more support, not less. Being around people that understand this more, um, 
not putting off if you've been waiting to do nutrition counseling with somebody or to get back in therapy or to do a group thing, not putting that stuff off. And it's time to do it now instead of waiting to like, oh, okay, I've tried to do it my own for the last three months and I'm not any closer to where I need to be. It's time to do that. Number three is if you've been waiting to do some more play and some more fun things, it's time to do it now. And so fill your time. If there's a hobby that you've been wanting to start but just haven't done it, it's time to do that. Whether it's knitting, dog walking, um, something, it can be physical, it doesn't have to be physical, but it's this is the time to do it. Even if the weather's kind of stinky, whether it's hot, cold, whatever's going on, little bits of something to remind you that you're trying to fill your life with other things besides all this noise because it's just lots of extra noise right now. It's really important. Number four is recognize that you might have some FOMO. You're, you're going to see people that are losing weight and you're going to feel sad about that. You, you might feel mad about that. You might want to rail against it. And I think that that anger is good and it's righteous because it's going to help protect you. And also now this is what this humility comes in is that like some people just don't know yet and they are still very, very afraid of letting it go too. Because if you're watching this and you've been watching me for any more than probably a month, you know that I'm always talking about how, yes, it is very difficult to um, be body accepting and neutral in this very fat public culture. And so that's going to on the surface have a ton of emotion but I know so many people in all different shapes and sizes of bodies, particularly in larger bodies, that don't have a problem with their bodies. They like their bodies just fine. So it's not that all that body hatred can't be unlearned. It's just that sometimes we're just so afraid of all the feelings with that and underneath that that we feel like our only option is to get a smaller body and then I can feel good. And a lot of people haven't come to that realization or really afraid of that realization. So that's where humility for me always is helpful because I recognize a lot of people just are so afraid of all the bigness of that emotion. And it's not because we are doing something wrong. It's, um, you know, often because there's just so much fear there. And so kind of keep that in mind when you're seeing other people's stuff about like, yeah, I've lost four pounds doing keto this week and I'm feeling so great or um, gosh I mean I'm get, getting rid of that bloated feeling I've had for the last two weeks of all the cookies and it's like you know those are very diet cultured things to say because there's probably not of attunement going on in their everyday um, life around feelings but also how food impacts them so there's going to be a lot of all or nothing with the food and so we lose sight of that when people start talking about the weight loss because you know, it takes a long time to fully um, put the rest, you know, weight loss wishes. The first step you can do is recognize that weight loss wishes are usually about, I'm feeling uncomfortable and I think that weight loss will fix that. And so those are my tips for right now to keep yourself really grounded. One last little bonus tip is that the more physically you can be with your body and in your body, the better, because that will ground some of that head spin. So if you're feeling anxious and your head's spinning and um, obsessing about food, um, doing things to avoid being, you know, thinking, um, on the other end of the spectrum, obsessive movement needs us to slow down. So either the goal here is going to be either to slow down to get more attuned or to push or to move or to ground yourself in some kind of way. We've talked about a hundred of times in different kinds of videos this whole year of how to do that. But, um, and we'll do more videos about that in 2020, but, um, that's your bonus tip is to get more in your body as well. And it doesn't have to be anything major except for like, can I feel my body making contact with this chair? If you can do that, you will automatically stop some of the head spin about like, oh my gosh, my body's too big. It's out of control. I can't keep doing this. You can. You can, and it's really one of our few alternatives to diet culture. And so please keep watching these videos. Um, I highly recommend that if you need a place for a lot of, lot, a lot of support and you're not sure where to get started, go to my YouTube channel, Tracy Brown RD, and um, 
just start kind of going through the archives of what I have and seeing what feels like it's really resonant for you right now at this time of year. It's there and available for you. And if you are not sure where you can get more support, contact me. Please just email me at tracybrownrd at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to talk to you about like what's coming up here in 2020. I'm going to be talking about that on Wednesday, actually, on our New Year's Eve video of what's available and what matches where your needs are. Because I do work with people at all stages of the game of your recovery. And, you know, some people just need more somatic work at this point. Some people really need more meal support. Some people are really looking to like getting their signals of hunger and fullness a lot more honed in. And so if you need all those things, we're going to be talking more about that on Wednesday of like, what do you need? And this is your homework. This is your call to action right now at the end of this video is I want you to be thinking about what it is that you'd like to see happen in 2020. I'm not a big resolution person, but I am very intentional about hopefully what I do from day to day. And so the little actions that we do add up to like, wow, I'm in a different place three months from now, somewhere that I wanted to be. And that's essentially what we're doing. You know, it's like all work that's done at this nutrition, somatic nutrition counseling level is about, there's always a big picture in mind with all the little things. The little things help make our lives better, but they add up to big things. And, and that's hopefully more a peaceful life. So before I hop off here, I want to, you know, thank you so much for commenting live. So Mary says, yes, humility is hard when we know what we know now and how harmful dieting is and has been to us. Yeah. And I think it's normal that we go through stages like this anger phase of like, you know, basically dieting stupid and it makes people obsessive and sick and less likely to be able to make, to have a weight that's stable in long term. It's all true. We know that. And we want everybody in the whole wide world to know it once we've, we're on this journey. And um, I know I did it. I know I did it as like one to preach to everybody. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But, you know, long term, I know that us walking that walk is way more powerful than anything we could ever preach. And so really being grounded in our bodies about it and really um, walking that walk is so much so, you know, so important and Mary you're also saying now it makes me sad and then sadness yes sadness is that next stage of like oh, it breaks my heart and it breaks my heart too I hate to see people I know um, whether you're on social um, out in the world people I really personally know going back on diets and doing things and it's like I'm just it's just not necessary for the peace that you really want but the peace we really want takes a lot of in, like a lot of work and a lot of insight and that's often why people don't do it. So Emily said, I wa finally watched a Richard Simmons video and my nine-year-old decided to start yoga. I think I'll join her. Um, healthy, restricted time movement. I think being with her will encourage me to guard her from, okay, got it. I love it, Emily, that you're thinking about how could we move in a way that's joyful and um, strengthening and bonding. I think that's, that's really lovely. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming live. There's so many of you here this morning. I, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy to be here, back here live. Um, I missed last week not being live. Um, I thought about like, oh, it's Monday. I'm not doing live. But, you know, you know, we all need a break. We all need a brain break. We all need to like give ourselves some rest, even from things that sometimes we really that we love just to keep things fresh. And so thank you all for watching. I am so grateful for you and you're watching. And I actually depend on you all a lot to um make this community what it is so it's, it's like it's a we thing it's not just a me talking thing um so if you have any topics that you'd like to see me go talk about broadly more deeply please message me email me i want to hear about it because um it's time to keep going to the next level in all of our our journeys and i'm happy to be here with you doing it too so thank you all so much for watching and i will see you on january 1st 2020 and bring your, um, bring your intents, bring your desires, and let's talk about it for what you'd like to see happen in this next coming year. I'll talk to y'all real soon. Bye for now.